Hello, how is it going? It is Fake Hero coming at you with another Legends of Runeterra video and today I'm going to showcase my Katarina Spiders deck that I've been working on. I don't believe it's a very good deck, maybe you can sit around tier 3, uh, depending on how the win rate sticks over time. I think it's a fun deck for sure and I think it was pretty awesome to showcase some of the interactions with a... Uh, uh, Katarina and Mark of the Isles. So I'd enjoy the game. We were versing a, a Karma Ezreal. I just want to mainly showcase that a deck would perform against some of the popular uh, meta decks. Uh, don't forget to leave a like. If you could, please subscribe too. You can come check out some more of my Rune Terror videos, and I will catch you later. The Saboteur is actually pretty weak in this matchup. It usually gets cleared up super easily. <clears throat> Where are you? All right, so my plan is to go super aggressive here, and we didn't find a two-drop. That's unlucky. Take from the rich, give to me. I wonder if he tempos out something. There's no actual tempo plays for him to make. He can only react to what I do. He's got four mana to work with. I've got this much mana to work with. We'll just go for this skitter. This will get like mystic shotted. Whoa, that's a tempo Ezreal. Okay. Sounds dangerous. In. Interesting. This is a good play actually in this kind of matchup. This makes a lot of sense. All right, what do I do here? So he's got he's got a static shock, which is all of his mana. I think we just go precious pet into broad and just go to town. I wonder if we try and do something with the Skidder on now. This is going to be Broad Awakening. This blocks this, 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 this. Yeah, I think we just swing it in, right? We read. I can't block my fears in here, but... Excuse you. Is he really taking a value block here? You're between me and glory. I can actually hit this Ezreal now. He takes this block. It's Katarina plus Vile Feast, unless he denies it. That just happens. I'm actually going to start off with a Vile Feast here because I don't want to play Skidder or Katarina. It's a more high value target for him to shoot. Ezreal's first level up. It's pretty safe to play Katarina. No, that's a bad idea. I think we play Skidder. He'll maybe do something to it. And then we can play Katarina next turn, maybe. Because we have the Mark of the Isles, which is a really good combo. This is fine. I don't think there's a way for him to clear the Katarina. But I won't be surprised if he does. But we're gonna go for it. I will cut out your tongue. So we mark. We blaze edge. 
Maybe we could have held back to Blade's Edge in case we wanted to play Elise instead. But he can't deny that Blade's Edge at least is what was clearing the Katarina. Yeah, so this is fine. I guess he can take back the Ezreal. So we'll open attack. So now we're flipping the Katarina. This is really cool too because when we mark her in the actual uh, tutorial, she actually recalls back to the hand before she dies. So that's super relevant, that mechanic. And now when he goes to try and play something, I can cut in for a rally. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. Maybe we'll go at least. Come closer. I don't bite. You can't do too much with his mana. Skip the block. Gotcha. I think I kind of have to go Katarina now, or he could just end the turn on me. This is about the mind games now, isn't it? Hey there, nice. Nah, I don't want to risk that he ends the turn on me. So I can a glimpse. Get some card draw. You dare. We could use a bite. He's still a fair bit away from 10 mana actually, and we're pretty healthy. Strong hand. Like, what does he do against all of this? Okay, so we open up with the broad first. Or a stun first. Hmm. So if I go to broad, he plays deny, that leaves him with four mana, then I stun. I don't think the auto matters too much. But this if I play the stun first and I get the buff. But I think Broad first makes more sense in case he plays another minion follower or Karma or something from the field. Whereas if he do this first and he denies it, he hasn't got enough mana to play Karma. So I hopefully just stun this and go face. But I definitely want to keep playing followers. So the Static Shock, yep, that's fine. Deal with that. So now we stun. I think that's it. Like, what can he do? Um, double Mystic Shot, it's not enough. I've already seen him use some Mystic Shots. Static Shock, that's not enough. He's still stunned if you level up. Yeah, he's still stunned. GG! <sighs> That's a good game. Yeah! We're gonna put that on YouTube. <laughs> GG! Troll. Mark of the Isles is probably a pretty useful ill game card for interacting with his Elise, so maybe I keep it. Hopefully we can get a win here because Karina Control typically is just such a meta changer. Big part of the meta that if I can pick up wins against decks like these, it gives the deck a bit more potential than I thought. I have my I'm going to play a Saboteur here because if we're lucky enough he has no one drop and then this is a bit more threatening than an Aristocrat. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's obviously a weak and a vile feast, so, but... Glimpse here? I'll take that. He loses one spider. I have no minions on the play this turn. That's fine. So he's rocking four mana this turn. Probably just house spider and aristocrats to play. Is that a worthwhile mark? No way. There's better opportunities to use mark. Surely we'll make an opportunity up as we go. Where are you? So I don't think he has Vile Feast in hand. I'd be tempted to play it if I was in his position there. Prior to the attack. Okay. Uh, maybe I should have played the Skidder there actually. But I can flex in a Vile Feast now. Yeah, let's clear one of the spiders. If I open attack, I get punished by Withering Whale. I know he wants to play Withering Whale. So I should probably play a Skidera. To be honest, pretty keen for this to come to mobile end of April. So am I, man. So am I. I'm, I can't wait for them to start like branding and marketing this game more, building some traffic, getting people involved in the game. The more people that play, the more content we can see, right? Well, I don't know. At least for like people trying to like make content for Runeterra, they'll be more rewarded. So he played the Mystic Shot there, so he may or may not have Withering Whale. Regardless, I have to play the Aristocrat now. What's that noise? You could be playing, trying to be really uh, greedy with the Withering Whale. And so what I might see him do is actually trade into my Aristocrats here. The animations and video trailers that they have made are so good. Yeah, I've been really digging them, dude. I was disappointed not to see Fiddlesticks come out for Shadow Isles though, but what can you do? I guess Malachi was more important. I'm not sure if Fiddlesticks is actually from the Shadow Isles though. It just seems like that would be his background. Malachi will be OP. Look, I think there's opportunity for him to get OP in the future. My theory with Malachi was that I thought he might have a good chance against Ezreal. But as soon as Ezreal gets to 10 mana, it's pretty much GG, right? So I'm hoping there's a way that we can make Malachi go faster than Ezreal, like get it done by turn 10. But I think just having a Malachi in any game though, like that kind of effect of deck destruction, this helps to keep the meta interesting. When he levels up, he destroys all of your opponent's deck, but leaves four non-champions. Yes, that's correct. I think it's quite... Maybe there's a way to do it really fast. So we just passed. Guess I'll play the Skidera. Then he may Ruination. Fiddle is from Terra. Like, as in not Shadow Isles? Oh, is like Rune Terra like its own kind of region thing? Because it's Rune Terra, which is Rune Terra. I was expecting him to play Ruination here. 
Moon Terror is unknown. Right. So if they were to bring out Fiddlesticks as a champion in game, would any of the current regions actually be available to him? Yeah, no, Laura says he's Moon Terror, not Shadow Isles. But like, aren't all of these regions from Moon Terror, minus like Shadow Isles, which I'm guessing is like the underworld? We don't know that. Oh. Well, hopefully one day I see Fiddlesticks. And hopefully he'd be really cool. I'm not sure either. All I know is Fiddlesticks is awesome. He was the first person I got a pentakill on, so... Good history. I'd love to see Shaka on Fiddlesticks in this game, yes. I heard they're bringing out a new region though. By the way, I don't think I can beat Withering Whale here, so I'm just going all in on the Broad Awakening. I'd love to see Viger. He'd be Piltover, right? Because he's a... Uh... Right? Yes or no? I didn't think you had... You don't have Withering Whale, do you? They're not. Yeah, it's not Withering Whale, you fucking dumb son of a bitch. Wait, was I supposed to hit? Oh my god. What just happened? I just missed lethal. I'm a fucking moron! Oh, why did I do that? Oh. That was such an easy win! Oh, well, at least I know I won. I'm the real winner. Why are my minions stuck? Game broke because I missed lethal. What the fuck is this? Hello? Oh my god, I didn't deserve that win. What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, why did I mark of Isles the one that, uh, just, I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. Oh well.